Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this video, I'll be discussing about one of my viewers question. Thanks once again for raising this question. Uh, this particular question is relating to financial liability and how to amortize the cost by using effective interest rates. Okay, so what is a financial liability? First and foremost, let's uh, define the, uh, the meaning of financial liability. So when we issue uh, debt instruments to raise cash, then we need to settle it at a future period or at the end of the loan period. Okay, so those are known as financial liabilities. Now these financial liabilities initially we recognize at fair value or present value. Then subsequently, we need to uh, recognize at amortized cost as per IFRS 9. So this is the, the basic requirement to recognize the financial liability. Uh, to explain this concept, so let me uh, take an example and then we'll try to understand the concept. So let me uh, share the screen, okay? Uh, this is a question. Silva issues 100,000 redeemable debentures at 100. Silva has issued 100,000 renewable debentures at 100 par value, incurring issue cost of $200,000, okay? The debentures are redeemable at a 10% premium in three years in time. Carrier coupon rate of 5%. The effective rate on the debenture is 8.85. Calculate the amount to be shown in the statement of financial position and statement of profit or loss for each of the three years of the debentures. Okay, so now, now uh, we'll see how much, how much Silva will receive. So he will receive, okay, 100,000 debentures issued at 100 so therefore so that will be 10 million okay so will he receive this total 10 million no so there is an issuing cost of 200000 so therefore this 200000 has to be deducted and he will receive 9.8 million. So this is the amount that Silva will receive by issuing these debentures. Okay, now uh, why, why we can't take 10 million? Because uh, 200,000 is the uh, issuing cost that has to be deducted. So can we charge this 200,000 immediately to our profit and loss account so you can't do that okay so it is incorrect to charge 200000 immediately to the statement of profit and loss account so this fee must be spread over the life of the instrument okay which is 3 years so we need to use the effective interest rate in order to effectively uh, spread this cost Okay, so basically this has to be, this 200,000 has to be spread over life of the instruments, over the life of the instruments, which is three years. Okay, now, so, so the amount received is 9.8 million. 
okay so when you receive this amount you need to debit the bank account okay so you will debit the bank account and you need to credit the financial liability so this is the entry that you need to pass then the debentures will be redeemed at 10% premium okay so so what will be the uh, the the redeemable price okay so debentures will be redeemed at 10% premium so which means this 10 million will be redeemed by 1.10 so that will be 11 million okay so we need to redeem so we need to redeem this debenture with a premium of 10 percent so that means you need to pay 11 million after the end of the three years period okay and apart from that we have to pay a coupon rate of 5%. Okay. So we have, we have to pay a coupon rate at 5% for three years. So that will be when you take 10 million times 5%, so which will be 500,000 every year. So for three years, we need to pay this 500,000 uh, at the end of each year. So basically, how much, how much we received, we received how much? 9.8 million, right? So we received 9.8 million. How much we need to pay? We have to pay the premium. The debenture has to be redeemed at a premium of 10%. So 11 million we have to pay. We need to pay 11 million plus we have to pay the coupon rate. Okay. So coupon rate will be 500,000 times 3, so which will be 1.5 million, okay? So 11 million plus 1.5 million, the total payment will be 12.5 million, okay? So whereas we received 9.8 million, so we have to pay 12.5 million. So what is this difference? This difference is 2,700,000. This 2,700,000 basically, this 2,700,000 basically consists of three elements. One is the, uh, the premium that we pay. How much is the premium we are paying? We, we obtain 10 million loan, whereas we pay 11 million. So therefore, we are paying extra premium of 1 million. Then we have to pay the coupon rate, which is 1.5 million, right? 1.5 million. This is the coupon rate. Plus, uh, we, we paid at the time of receiving the money, 200,000 as our issue cost, okay? So the issue cost was 200,000. So basically 1 million, 1.5 million plus 200,000 will be 2.7 million, okay? So what we need to do is this 2.7 million has to be amortized over the life of the uh, instrument, which is over three years, we need to amortize. 
So that's why the effective interest rate of 8.85% is given in order to spread this 2.7 million. Okay, so basically this 8.85% uh, the effective interest rate, please remember this rate takes into account all these uh, three elements, which is the issue cost, the annual uh, payment, which is a coupon rate, and the premium payable on the redemption, which is 1 billion. So when you add up these three, so that will be 2.7 million. So as by FRS 9 financial instruments, so it requires that a constant rate of interest should be applied to this uh, balance to better reflect the finance cost. So we need to spread these costs over the life of the debt, which is three years. Uh, over three years, we need to spread this cost. Okay. Now let's uh, do the calculation. Uh, we'll see how we can prepare this. For this, we need basically five columns. We need five columns to show this uh, calculation, okay? So our opening balance, we can say the opening balance is 1.9, uh, 9.8 million. So our opening balance should be 9.8 million. So I will take these in thousands. And our interest cost is how much? 9.8 million times 0.885. So that will be 867. And our coupon rate, which is 5%, we have to pay 500,000 every year. So therefore, at the end of the period, 9.8 million plus 867 minus 500,000. So that will be 10 million. One six seven. So please remember, you have to show in the statement of financial position and the statement of uh, uh, profit or loss, this finance cost will be debited. So this finance cost will be debited, debit finance cost, and you need to credit the finance liability. Okay, so every year the finance cost, the when you calculate, that has to be charged to the statement of profit or loss. And this has to be statement of financial position as our financial liability we need to recognize. Then the coupon rate, this is the cash payment, okay? So we need to uh, debit our finance, finance liability and we need to credit the bank account. So this is the double entry for this particular uh, payment, okay? So this closing balance will be reflected in the statement of financial position at the end of each year, okay? Now let's calculate the remaining. So 10 million 167 on that 0.885, that will be 900. So that will be 899. And again, we have to pay 500,000. So that will be how much? 10 million 167 plus 899 minus 500,000 will be 10, 566. Then the third year, 10, 566 times 0.885. That will be 935. Payment is 500,000, so 
10 million phi double six plus nine three phi minus 500. So that will be, there'll be rounding off error, but the amount to be paid will be 11 million. 11 million. So that is the, 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 the amount that we need to pay, that we need to redeem at the end of third year with a premium of 1 million, okay? So which is 11 million. So as I explain you, now when you take the total of finance cost, what is the total? 867 plus 899 plus 935. So that will be 2 million 700. Okay, 2 million 700. So this 2 million 700 consists of, as I explain you, the premium of 1 million. As I explained you earlier, this consists of premium of 1 million, coupon rate of 1.5 million, and the issue cost of 200,000. The total 2.7 million we amortized, okay? We, we have spread this cost over three years based on the effective interest rate of 8.85%, so which is 2.7 million. So this is the basic idea about uh, financial liability. So uh, if you have any uh, further questions, what you can do is you can comment below. I will try to discuss uh, if you have any further doubts, you can comment below. So I will try to uh, answer all your questions. So thanks for watching. I will see you soon with another video. Bye for now.